So this is it, our final beta. Um, and this is after beginning the Insider program back in December 2016 uh, with our technical alpha where we invited the first thousand players in. And since then, we've been kind of growing the feature set, the game, uh, and also the, the player base and the community around Sea of Thieves. Uh, it's been a really incredible way to kind of make a game, to be listening to our players, to be taking their feedback and, and testing that experience out in the wild. Uh, and the final beta is really that, that final step on that as we head towards launch. Uh, and we're super excited to be announcing that today. So there's a few goals for the Sea of Thieves final beta, the first of which is to hit a greater scale of players than we've ever hit before. Uh, so to that end, we are opening this up to everybody to, to come in. Um, and we're also testing some new gameplay features. So uh, the Merchant uh, Alliance is on for the first time, so you're going to be able to go exploring in the world, um, collecting chickens, collecting pigs, feeding him a little banana. And something new for players to try out is also Skeleton Forts. So this is where there's a chance for those forts that you'll have seen out there um, in the world to be occupied by skeletons. Um, and if they are, you'll see this cloud above the fort itself. That's when you know that there's kind of these great rewards to be had. But there's also great risk because other players in the world may well have seen that, um, that cloud too. So as you head towards it, you don't know if there are going to be players already there, if there are players on their way. Maybe you want to try crew up together and take down these threats and share out the rewards. And we're really looking forward to seeing how this kind of plays out um, on the open seat. So just like our scale test, this is a beta, right? And this is a beta in the truest sense of the word, where we're going to be testing our services at scale with all of our players. And, and with that in mind, um, you know, we might well see some issues as we, because this is going to be the biggest amount of players that we've ever seen playing Sea of Thieves. Um, and if that happens, there's a, there's a number of things you might see. Uh, one of those is that at kind of peak times, we might put temporary kind of blocks on new players coming in just to preserve the experience for the players that are already playing. Um, and you might also see some, um, some issues for players that are in there around uh, accessing the store, so using gold to buy new voyages or to buy kind of cosmetics and stuff. And our services team are going to be working behind the scenes to kind of alleviate things on the fly. And it's going to be an incredibly valuable learning to us for the, um, during this weekend for, cha you know, for changes that we can make on the fly to improve matters which is going to be great but also things that we can then go okay we need to go and address that in the in the coming week on the run-up to launch um, so yeah we are going to learn so so much from everybody that comes in and plays um, so you know thanks to everybody that turns up and apologies in advance for, for anyone that kind of you know gets hit by any of these issues as, as they're playing so throughout the final beta itself, we'll be providing status updates to our players. Uh, so you can go to at Sea of Thieves on Twitter, uh, or you can go to seaofthieves.com, uh, where we have a status banner that we update very regularly. So if you're experiencing um, kind of problems getting into the beta or something, please just go to our Twitter handle or go to seaofthieves.com and you'll find the latest information there that we'll be updating regularly. I also wanted to confirm that there's no NDA in place uh, on the final beta, so you can share away to your heart's content. Uh, and we are really looking forward to seeing some of the new stories that come out from the new features that we're turning on. So beyond the final beta itself, we are very, very close to the launch of the full game itself, which is an incredibly exciting and slightly nervous time for the for the team at Rare. Um, but we're so looking forward to kind of getting this game out into, into everyone's hands at launch and also looking to listen and react to player feedback uh, out in the wild. And, you know, beyond on um, launch, that is going to be our focus as a team. Uh, we've purposely left space in our roadmap so that we can be um, very reactive to the kind of top points of feedback that are coming in. And we'll also be very open and transparent about those. So um, you can look forward to regular updates from us as a team about what the top feedback points are and what we're doing to address those. We are thoroughly looking forward to the final beta um, and all of the great stories that we're going to see from that and also all of the lessons that we can learn to help push us on towards uh, launch and deliver the best experience for our players there. Uh, and then we are equally Equally as excited to, to kind of to hit that launch and to start moving beyond into, into our post-launch plans. Um, and we're really, really thankful for everyone that's come on this journey with us so far um, and is going to come on that journey with us uh, into the future. So here's to the final beta uh, and to launch, and I hope to see you out on the seas. Cheers. Pre-order now to receive the Black Dog Pack when the game launches.